All right, next stop, uh, Vanilla Dome 2. Once again, one with a secret exit. There's lots of those. Uh, yeah, Vanilla Dome's the one where, like, it really does become apparent that there's lots of secrets around here. Um, where's Vanilla Dome 2? What is the secret exit for this one? Because I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, right, we have to get the Red Switch Palace from here. So let's try to get that. Yeah, this one is kind of weird. Uh, you have a flopping fish here. If it makes it to the water, it turns into a normal fish. So you technically don't want that to happen because it's more difficult to take on that way. But uh, since I have Yoshi and I have the cape, I should be good. Well, so much for that. We're gonna have to leave Yoshi behind. There's no way around it. That's like, that's the spot designed to get rid of your Yoshi. All right, so we have to drop down here. You can still spin these guys away. Um, right, so you wanna clear out a good portion of this and then uh, get underneath. Get your feathers back. All right, we'll keep going. Is it here? Nope. Clearly there's a P-switch around here somewhere. You can see all the blocks and stuff like that. Oh, this guy. What? You're not supposed to do that. Fine. Uh, he's supposed to break all these, but he didn't. He just hopped right over it. I don't understand why. Okay. There's the P-switch. Oh, that is not what I wanted at all. You can also do that, but uh, I, I guess we'll stick with the... Uh, we'll stick with... Wow. I was about to say we're going to stick with the, uh, the fire flower, but so much for that. It's too slippy around here. All right. Go away, go away, go away. Not what I wanted anyway. We'll head through here. What? That's not cool. Just kind of went straight for me. And they spawned three of them! Last one? Alright. I think we're pretty close to the end. Usually those three uh, football guys are near the end. Couldn't quite make it there. So, we cleared it normally, but I want to go back and clear it the, uh, the other way. So, let's go get power-ups again. I have to do this way more than I would like, to be honest with you. Should be able to hold on to these power-ups, but... They weren't playing nice in that ice part of the level. Give me Yoshi, and give me the double feathers. There we go! Yeah, having this makes things a lot easier for me in the long run. It's kind of the secret to the game. At some point, I will stop going back to get them, but one world away, that's not bad. Okay, so... I have to remind myself uh, what the secret is for this one. Um, it has something to do with that P-switch, clearly. So at some point, we're going to have to uh, climb up. Once again, we have to get rid of Yoshi here, don't we? I was already there, though. Um, I just don't see how I, I could do that with Yoshi. So let's take this out. There we go. Try to figure out what to do here. Okay, we'll just bypass all this. This is where the trouble started for me last time. Now, right, I can make this jump up here and then over here. There's the P-switch. Let's clear all that first. What do we have here? Okay, I'm not interested in that. I am interested in this. 
and we'll go backwards here. Get the key. The key does make you slightly faster, uh, just like holding on to things in uh, Mario 3. And there's the keyhole. There we go. Okay. There's the secret. Nothing too bad there. And we can make it to the Red Switch Palace. This is going to be important. All right, so... Uh, head up here. Use the power of that to get a one-up. That's pretty much the idea. Wait for that to go away so I can trap it again. And then we can head through the palace. There we go. I actually got the one-up from this Switch Palace. That's always nice. And then we can head here and get the Switch Palace. Now we have red exclamation points. That is for uh, fire flowers, I believe. Not as useful as the green ones, even though it comes later. Okay. Continue and save. Uh, let's head back and get the Yoshi. No, you know what? This is the climbing one anyway. So let's go to the vanilla secret one. Now that we have this, um, we should have the ability to get... We should have the ability to get the secret here. Let me just make sure I have this set up properly. Where, where is it? Vanilla secret one, where is, where's my little thing? Damn you. They don't put it in order for me in a way that I like. Uh, there's vanilla secret one. Okay, so we basically have to get to the springboard. Okay, so apparently I could have done this with the, uh, with the cape by itself, but we're gonna try to do it without it. All right, kill you, hit that away. All right, what do we got here? Nothing spectacular, but I'll take it. All right, and then there was nothing over there worth of uh, worth any sort of consequence. Just a dragon coin, but uh, you have to get higher up to get that anyway. Okay, so this is a vine. It's not the springboard. Another vine here. Okay, here's the springboard. So I think I need to carry this. Oh, there's a blue switch here as well. Can I climb up here? I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it here. Wait for them to go by. Uh, it looks like I actually do need to still use the cape. All right, so. There we go, simple enough. How are you supposed to do that without the cape? I'm not entirely sure. They, they mentioned the uh, the springboard, but I don't see it. I don't see how I could have used it. All right, there we go. Secret done. And I get the bonus game again. Hooray. There. I got a couple. Not the best. I'm never, never perfect at that game, but you got to get that timing just right. Otherwise, you screw yourself up. But that takes us back to Star Road. And now we can take on Star World 2, which is underwater. All right, so we have ourselves the star. We have ourselves a baby Yoshi. Now, the baby Yoshi, you want to feed until it grows. Uh, so find a whole bunch of stuff. Feed, feed your Yoshi. Feed your Yoshi. Are you... Are you good yet? Okay, so now we have ourselves a blue Yoshi. Blue Yoshi, everything that it eats turns in... Well, every uh, shell that it eats turns into a blue shell, which allows him to fly. I'm just bypassing all that. We're gonna take our time taking on these guys. These guys are not fun if you, they start chasing you, not underwater. And that's the only place they are. 
Um, yeah, we'll take the uh, the normal exit out of here. Normal is fine. Just get our points and move on. And we'll do it again the uh, the secret way. Yeah, if you're looking for a blue Yoshi, this is your best bet. And since that's the normal exit, it just takes us back where we were. But if we take the secret exit, which is a little bit further, let's just get that and go. Because that'll turn into a one-up, because I already have that. I already have a Yoshi. And you can't, like, swim any faster. All right, can I just, like, bypass all of you? Nope. Okay, now that I'm down here, maybe I, I got rid of them? I think so. And once again, these guys are not fun. If they start chasing you, they, they never let up until you get far enough away. So the best way to do that is kind of up and down, is vertically. All right, so the secret exit is through here. That's the reason why they allowed you to see underneath this giant thing, whatever you want to call it. All right, grab that, head through here. Simple enough. And we have ourselves uh, the next warp point. Once again, we'll take a look at where it is, just kind of out in the middle of nowhere, uh, but there you go. That's where it is. Uh, we will find the proper exit to that and then take that where we need to go. Uh, these are great warp points, though, for when you need to warp somewhere, obviously. Okay, so let's head into uh, the vanilla ghost house, which sounds a lot simpler than I think it is. I think this is the first ghost house without a secret exit. I don't think this one has one. <laughs> 